morning. Happy Thanksgiving. So first of all, I just want to say thanks to everybody that responded to that last video. I uh, got a lot of good comments. Um, I figured I could respond on the page, but hey man, let's make a video. So it's Thanksgiving morning. It's really nice out right now. It's supposed to rain the next couple of days, so... Um, I figured I'll respond to the ones I can remember. I don't have it in front of me, so I can't like look at stuff. But so a couple of comments were about getting this thing running. Um, there is a plan for that. Uh, and it's not using a Cleveland as was suggested. Actually, I'll put a picture up. So my dad bought a van in 1977, ordered it brand new, it was an oddball van. We called it the hippie van. Um, we used it to tow the race car. We towed a pop-up camper with it. We went fishing in it. We drove all over. We camped in it. Um, and then it turned into pulling the race car. Well, we did that for a little while. And then when he wanted to buy the enclosed trailer, he bought a different van. Um, and then the hippie van sat. And it sat. And then when he passed away in 2009... It had, at that point, it had probably sat for 10 years, maybe a little longer. And it was in pretty bad shape. So, 2010, mom was going to have it hauled off to the junkyard, you know, because she's trying to declutter all of the stuff that had been sitting around, which, can't blame her. Um, I had my, I asked if I could get the motor and transmission out of it. And the gear, because dad had put a 373 in it, I think nine inch so i got the gear i got the motor out of it it was a 351 windsor um it ran good it ran fine um but it had been it had sat for 10 years so we got that motor and was originally going to put that in the convertible i'm gonna throw a different cam in it and put it in convertible because dad had put an edelbrock uh performer intake on it and just bought their kit with the edelbrock kit with the edelbrock cam and lifters and intake and well, turned out the yellow brock lifters are junk. So he fought with them. He hated them things. They were noisy. Hydraulic lifters and they were noisy. Um, so I knew I wasn't going to use that. Well, once we decided to take the motor out of that thing to put it in the convertible, well, now that motor that was in Dad's van has, well, it doesn't have anywhere to go. So my thought is, I've got the, since since I'm okay with that thing there being a little less street friendly than the convertible, converter convertible's got power brakes and air conditioning and power steering, and this car's got none of that. So I'm going to take the 280 solid flat tappet that was in the motor in that car originally that I pulled out, so we put it in the convertible, put it in the motor that was came out of the van, um, and probably buy a set of like Flowtech aluminum heads, something cheap. They don't have to be great, but they'll be better than what was on it, than the 1977 Ford castings. Them things, they they probably don't flow. They probably don't, they're probably junk. As far as flow, um, I know Dad had pulled them off when he did all of that and had seals and had the seats touched up and springs and all that stuff done, so. But if we're going to make a hot rod out of it, we might as well throw an aluminum head on it. So anyway, so there's that. That's what will go in that car. That's the plan, at least. Um, you mentioned doing the Cougar. Some folks had mentioned, you know, ought to get the finish, fix the, do the Cougar first. The Cougar's on the top of the list. Um, it should have been done by now. But, you know, fought with the race car all year. Um, spent all my free time and money trying to keep that damn thing running. So that got pushed back and pushed back. And luckily, Kalen is not real pushy on it. Not pushy at all, actually. But, so that's the first thing I need to get done. I need to get that done first. And then work on that thing. Or maybe not work on that thing, but it's, it's definitely on the list near the top. Um, I will video when I start working on both of those. So that will be 
that that will be some content um somebody commented about all the parts that were on here well most of this stuff is just i mean it, it's just a shelf i mean there's i mean there's just some speakers that i don't even remember what those came out of um these are the valve covers that are for the convertible um I mean, it's a 69. I mean, we got to go with old school valve covers. They won't clear roller rockers, though. So that's the reason why when you look at that thing, there's an aluminum spacer on there. That's so they'll clear. Um, fuel pump. Fuel pump for the convertible. Um, water pump that was on the convertible originally. But it, it was on the motor that's going in the convertible originally. This thing's a 70. So it takes a different water pump than the 69. The outlets are in a different place on the radiator. Um, oil pump that was on, it's a Windsor oil pump, I don't know what it was on, <laughs> truth be told, yeah, I don't know, um, it's just, just a bunch of junk, I mean, you know, a, a bucket of bolts, uh, um, this is the 280 solid cam, I think, wait, nope, that is not correct. That is the custom ground solid flat tappet that's going to go in the 393 Windsor for her race car. That's right there. And that is at the top of the list. That's actually on the list ahead of this car. She hasn't been able to go racing for several years. Um, she wants to go racing again. So where well, she wants to go, I need to... I need to work on that. Once again, haven't been able to work on it because, you know, my car was taking all my time and money. And then there's just a bunch of, you know, this is old bearings. I don't know why I hang on to them. This is the distributor that was in the motor in this car. It's just a Ford Durasbart, but it's had the timing locked out, so that's not going to work for her street car. So we bought... Hang on, let me get over here. So I bought a uh, all-in-one. I don't even know what brand it is. Let me look. That ain't going to tell me nothing. Anyway, it doesn't require a MSD box. I didn't want to have to do that for, put that on her car. I just wanted something I could hook up a couple of wires and it was going to work. Electronic ignition with advance and so there's that um balancer for this motor i gotta get it installed might do that this weekend um right here crankshaft for her 393 radiator out of her race car because for some reason her 70 mustang race car has a 69 radiator in it i don't know i'm not gonna question it um as far as the parts on her car, it's just, I cleaned out some wiring crap and just drug out stuff that I wanted to hang on to and it's on there and it's just a bunch of junk as well. Um, we got some tools, we got some, you know, it's just miscellaneous stuff over here. It's nothing real, nothing worth really spending much more time on and then this is just random bolts and stuff this was a spacer we ran on this that i'm not going to put back on it because now it's got a dual plane intake um it had a single plane on it and we were shifting it pretty short so the four hole spacer actually picked up torque on the dyno the chassis dyno um so we always ran it what else um what else did people comment? Oh, I will do some videos on the other cars. And it's funny, I had actually done some short videos um, kind of talking about the other cars that we've got sitting over there, back back that way. And then wasn't sure if anybody wanted to see them or not. So I deleted all of it because it just wasn't very good content. I didn't think. In hindsight, it was probably better content than I thought, but my editing was not... My editing's still not very good right now, but it has gotten better. At least I think it has. Oh, so for the race car, more than likely what's going to happen, 
I'm going to continue to try to sell all the Cleveland stuff. It'll probably get to a point next year where um, I want to go racing. I'll have her race car running. Her convertible will be running. Um, I might not do much with that by then, just being realistic. And then I'll get the urge I have to go racing. Um, and I will probably fix the 393 that's in the car right now. I'll have it out and pull the pan off and see what's wrong with it. Um, that's probably how that's going to end up working. I really want to build a Windsor, but unless I sell that stuff, I can't. I mean, I just, that's just how it is. And nobody wants to buy anything. I don't want to be smart asses and assholes um, about it. And I'm not going to give the stuff away. I'll let it rot. I'll let it rot and rust into the ground before I give anything away, because that's how I am. So I did forget a couple of things. Um, somebody said something about putting a big block Ford in the car. You know that that was looked into at one point. I used to have a Fox body that had a 460 in it. Um, it ran pretty good for what it was. It was 40 over, had flat tops. Uh, the DOVE heads that had been ported, solid flat tap at cam, Victor Jr. Um, I really thought about putting that in my car. Then I started researching it and found out that it makes the car really nose heavy. The car's already nose heavy. And working on it with the stock shock towers in it is an absolute nightmare. Um, putting headers on it, changing plugs, you know, stuff like that. And I'd already had my fill of that with a Cleveland. And it was even worse with the with the 460 because you know 460 and a cleveland are basically the same motor except one's just bigger so i really didn't have any desire to go down that road so we actually sold that car um two of them actually they went to a better home where somebody will hopefully do something with them um it was mentioned to fix the cleveland man that's probably what's going to happen It'll just break again. I mean, guys who've been running Clevelands for very long and push them real hard, and I push it hard, um, they break. They break often with much more frequency than about anything else out there. And that's just the way it is. They break a lot. But that's probably what's going to get fixed. That's probably what will still be in the car next year because nobody's going to buy any of this stuff. Like I said, I ain't giving it away. Let's see. I can't remember what else was touched on. but Oh, part in the Cleveland stuff, instead of selling it as a lot, selling individual pieces, nope, not doing that. I've got a lot of parts. I'm not going to sell this guy a set of cylinder heads, this guy a set of rocker arms, this guy a camshaft, this guy an intake, and this guy... A set of it because then I got to deal with instead of dealing with one person buying all this stuff, then I have to deal with 20 people and I have to deal with shipping 20 things. And I have to, I, no, yeah, I know I'm probably shooting myself in the foot or cutting off your nose despite your face, whatever anybody wants to say. But that's just how it is. I'm gonna work on something, try and get something done, then edit this down later tonight and try to make it, I don't know, 10 or 12 minutes long. We'll see. Because I'm, I'm way over that at this point. It's about 55 degrees and the yellow jackets are out. Yeah. I had one buzzing around my hand. But anyway. See ya.